Tuesdays. Good afternoon, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of still sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 2 p.m. update. Currently, we have all the U.S. indices trading to the upside. The Dow is up 227.7 tenths of a percent. One and a quarter percent for the S&P. That's 52 points. Nasdaq's 280. That's two and a quarter percent. Russell, a little over 2 percent at 39 points. Semi's up two and eight tenths percent. 86 points out there. The tranny's up one and seven tenths or 246 points. Gold's up 23 bucks. Even Stephen, 1871. 70's the print silver. 38 cents trading out of 22.29. Lights recruit up a buck 55. 116.80. The 30 treasury up five ticks. And natural gas back three pennies. She's trading out at eight dollars and 66 cents out there let's go spend a little time take a look at the uh, charts here for the uh, indices see what they're signaling to you and i as we take a look at the uh, charts out here this eight panel set of charts what strikes me right now if you're asking which which of these are the most bullish which of these indices are the most bullish today Steve, we would answer the NASDAQ 100. It is trading above yesterday's high right now. The Russell 2000 trade above yesterday's high. Never got down to yesterday's low. That's a strong dog. Semis are just as strong as the Russell 2000. Trade above yesterday's high. Should continue to move higher out here. The transports are also trading above yesterday's high. Uh, so you've got the ads, Wells, the NASDAQ composite. So the weak indices would be the Dow Jones, in Dow Jones Industrials, uh, S&P 500, only because it hasn't taken out yesterday's high out there. Not that it won't. And the uh, New York Stock Exchange. What other pieces of information, what other morsels of information can we get out here? Well, in the semis, they're going to go target. The swing point that you're watching here is 3166.70 or 3136. If price can close above 3166.70, that's going to suggest a further move higher. The trannies, they may be targeting their high from May 17th. That's in the 14809 level out here. The NASDAQ composite could easily be targeting the high of 12985. The um, Russell 2000, I'd say that its price target to the upside would be about 1952. In the case of the NASDAQ 100, it's going to be the high from May the uh, 4th out there. And that's up in the uh, 13,556 level. So uh, all looks hunky-dory out there. Here's the daily time frame chart for the uh, NDX 100. Um, we can see that typically you get like a two or three day rally after a bit of a pullback out there. Here's a three-day rally back on May the 4th. Here's a two-day rally on May 19th. You know what this suggests? We should not only we should see this rally last through tomorrow. Tomorrow is fantastic Friday. Have a terrific Thursday, folks. Stay tuned. Your favorite polar bear, David White's up next. Thank you. The reality is that none of